Good afternoon, and welcome to Holy Trinity Church in Juneau, Alaska, where we pause in the middle of the day to pray for the world. You can follow along by going to our website, trinityjuneau.org, clicking on the Noonday Prayers link, and scroll down to Thursday. Oh God, make speed to save us. Oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. The psalm appointed for today is Psalm 18, part 2. We will be singing verses 21 through 28. The Lord rewarded me because of my righteous dealing. Because my hands were clean, he rewarded me. For I have kept the ways of the Lord and have not offended against my God. For all his judgments are before my eyes, and his decrees I have not put away from me. For I have been blameless with him, and have kept myself from iniquity. Therefore the Lord rewarded me according to my righteous dealing, because of the cleanness of my hands in his sight. With the faithful you show yourself faithful, O God. With the forthright you show yourself forthright. With the pure you show yourself pure. But with the crooked you are wily. You will save a lowly people, but you will humble the haughty eyes. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We continue our reading from the letter to the Ephesians. So then, remember that at one time you Gentiles by birth, called the uncircumcision by those who are called the circumcision, a physical circumcision made in the flesh by human hands, Remember that you were at that time without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers to the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus, who you who were once far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ, for he is our peace. In his flesh he has made both groups into one and has broken down the dividing wall that is, the hostility between us. He has abolished the law with its commandments and ordinances so that he might create in himself one new humanity in place of the two, thus making peace, and might reconcile both groups to God in one body through the cross, thus putting to death that hostility through it. So he came and proclaimed peace to you who were far off and peace to those who were near. For through him, both of us have access to the Spirit of the Father. So then you are no longer strangers and aliens, but you are citizens with the saints and also members of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets with Jesus Christ himself, the cornerstone. In him, the whole structure is joined together and grows into a holy temple in the Lord, in whom you are also built together spiritually into a dwelling place for God. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. 
Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. O oh God of grace and mercy, give your blessings to the Diocese of Alaska. Watch over our churches, sustain our people, strengthen our leaders. Through the Holy Spirit, guide and guard the diocese, keeping it always under your care and protection. Let us be a loving family, serving you in faithful devotion to the gospel of your Son, Jesus Christ. Give your blessings to Mark, our bishop. Give him a spirit of courage and right judgment, a spirit of knowledge and love. Let your Holy Spirit be his companion. Let your gospel be always in his thoughts. May your presence in his life be a light for all to see in every good work for the building up of your people and to the glory of your holy name. Give us the blessing of your example. Help us to follow in the way of Jesus today and every day. Give us compassion at the center of all we do. Compassion for ourselves as disciples still young in faith. Compassion for others as members of our own family and God. Let us become examples for others as so many others have been examples to us through your love and for the sake of your glory. Watch over all elders and the brothers and sisters of the Society of St. Simeon and St. Anna. If any are in a time of sorrow, sickness, or need, give them the touch of your healing hand. If any are in times of joy, thanksgiving, or fulfillment, give them the song of angels to praise your name. Let us be your servants in this life, just as we will be your sons and daughters in the life to come. And I invite you to join us in prayers by lifting up your own intercessions and petitions. As we pray for those who have asked for our prayers, Gail, Lee and Kiara, Jim, Tony, Kelly, the Kelly family, Larry, Frank, Martha Ellen, Sol, Lee, and Laura. We ask that there be soon be enough uh, vaccine for everyone in the world and that we may end this pandemic so that we can go back to being together again. And we pray, Lord, for a very peaceful transition, that the reins of government can pass from one administration to another without further violence or hatred. Amen. We remember this day, Richard Benson and Charles Gore. Uh, Richard Benson and Charles Gore pretty much revitalized the male monastic uh, communities in England. Uh, Richard Benson died in 1915, Charles Gore, Gore in 1932. Gracious God, who kindled in your servants Richard and Charles the grace to lead a revival of monastic life, Grant us also the resolve to serve you faithfully in contemplation and prayer, ministering to the world that you have made, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, in glory everlasting. Amen. Amen. May God the Father bless us. May Christ take care of us. May the Holy Spirit enlighten us all the days of our life. The Lord be our defender and keeper of body and soul, both now and forever to the ages of ages. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And may God kindle in us the fire of love. Amen. Amen.